to do this. I have not walked with you before. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it is G. I am back. I have changed my hair color again. And today I am here with Phil. I'm here too. So Phil is obviously one of the other uh, student communications ambassadors, but he is also my partner. Woo. Phil and I have been together for seven and a half years now. We met in high school. I wanted to make a video with Phil to talk about how our relationship has been through uni. And we didn't purposely wear matching outfits today. That's, that's Phil's fault because I only I we were at his house and I only bought one change of shirt and he has hundreds and he still chose to wear a shirt that looks like my shirt. But instead of just talking about sort of like how things have been for us and just having a chat, I thought we would make it more interesting by having Phil finally let me do his makeup. But I, I won't be able to do it very well because he won't let me put eyeliner on him. I just don't want to be poked in the eye, basically. I'm not going to poke you in the eye. I have control of my hands. I think we're just going to crack on and we're just going to have a chat as we go through about our relationship and relationships at uni and about what it's been like. So let's crack on. We have to start with primer. I would usually moisturise first, but um, we're not going to make you, you don't do that. Care about no, you just moan whenever I moisturise anything. This is so weird doing this on someone else's face. I cleaned all my makeup sponges and my beauty blenders, especially for this, and then because I left them out to dry, I left them at home. <laughs> Thanks so much. You're welcome. So we had to go to Sainsbury's to buy a new beauty blender, and I've had to use it on my face before I did this, so he's going to have all my germs on him. That actually looks pretty good. It's, not, it's definitely not the right shade on you, but it's closer than my shade would be. Okay, um, I can't think of what I do next. Oh yeah, I do my eyebrows next. So, what was it like being in a relationship with me when you were at home working? Um, it was tough. Because mm -hmm. obviously we've been together for like four years a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, must have been. And we went to the same school and college, so we hadn't really spent that much time apart. Yeah. It wasn't too bad because obviously we had like Facebook Messenger and stuff. We called like every single night. And it wasn't so bad because we were both busy, like obviously. She had uni and I was working full time. Shoe shop. So. Yes. I think we did pretty well. Sorry. Well, not initially. Mm. Well, I said to you that I wanted to go without seeing you until we went to Bought Bubble, which was on the 2nd of October. I ended up ringing you at 3 am on one of my second days there, didn't I? Mm. And I sort of was like, You have to come and see me, you lonely. <laughs> Okay. Oh, good. It's hi 
highlighter. Um, I think my favourite thing about you being here last year was actually sort of, sort of seeing you settle into being a uni student was really nice for me. I think it was really nice to see you come into yourself because I think you really suit being at university. Now we're all your lips together a bit. It feels horrible. It does. I have a way to fix that. And then... <laughs> so much red. So. It's lip gloss, it's to make your lips healthier, so it should feel a bit nicer. Open. Now roll. Open. Do you want purple? Sure. Okay. What is your favourite thing that we have done together since being at university? Disaster. Oh. That helps that you have a car. Yeah, but even so, we just go somewhere on trains. Like we go to conventions on trains a lot. That's true. So what's it like working with me? Horrible. Because you do this to me. Well, I would have done this to you even if you didn't have the job. I'm not good at this. <laughs> Look, I'm doing another purple. I've done so purple. We have to do layers of these things. What's it like dating a non-binary person? Is there any different from dating anyone else, really? Mm. Did you expect it when I came out to you? Yeah, kind of expected it. Can I please just put false eyelashes on? No. Literally for two seconds. No. I made them! Good for you! So you have to like them. Support my art, Philip. So you've just ruined the whole look. Over happy. The whole look. You have, because you told me that I could do. Fine. Yes, correct. Would you say that your opinion on being in a uni with me? has changed at all by us moving away from each other when we're at home. No. So we used to live like five minutes apart and now we live like, like what, like an hour and a half drive? Two hours -ish. Yeah, it's like three hours on the train, it's not fun. We now have like, Stoke has become like our central hub. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, look at the camera, show them the new you. That went really badly wrong. I agree, that's not this thing. I took all of his makeup off because he was mad. I was expecting you to deny that. <laughs> I, I've discovered I don't like makeup. Am I going to have to make you some hot chocolate to make it up to you? I think so. What are your final thoughts on what it's like being in a relationship posture at uni? If you're separated, then it's tough, obviously, but you know, it's not possible. No, definitely Just keep not. Keep in contact and stuff. There were a lot of people that I was talking to about a year before I came to uni and they were all like, oh, you know, it doesn't matter how long you've been together or how good your relationship is, once you hit uni, if one of you's there and the other one's not, you'll break up within six months. And I was like, I don't think that'll happen, but I always had that little fear, but it doesn't have to happen at all and it all depends on how much effort you put into the relationship and just how committed you are to that person. Do you want to give me a hug? Please give me a hug. Yay! <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go and make Phil hot chocolate now so he isn't angry at me anymore. And um, I will see you again next time. Bye!